Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Streamfield in Wagtail 1.0. Streamfield is the new editing system in Wagtail. It's an optional new approach for the way you make and edit pages within the edit page interface. I'm going to demonstrate it by making a blog page. I'll put the title and author in, and then the rest of the page is going to be built within the Streamfield content area, which is the block with all the black icons in. Normally when you make pages within a content management system, you're either using a very structured template layout with lots of fields that you have to fill in one by one, and this is good because it controls the format of each page and makes each page have a consistent nature, but it can be frustrating if you want to do something differently or if a new requirement comes along. Or the other option is to stick everything into one text area and hack around with one of those WYSIWYG editors in the text area, which as anyone who's used them will know is a pain. We still make one of these, we still make use of one of these in Streamfield, but in a light touch way. As you can see as I create blocks of content, Streamfield does things quite differently. So I'm gonna preview this now. Oh, that hasn't worked actually. There's a validation error I can see from the one up on the, the content tab there. And if I scroll down, I can see that it needs a date that the post is gonna be given. So I'll just try it now, I'll resave it and preview it, and that looks a bit more like expected. What I'll do now is try to put a slightly more interesting element in for a bit of variety. So I'm going to add an image here and place it on the right hand side of the page. I'll just choose my image. When we preview this image and caption, you'll see that it appears overlapping the side of the content column, which is an example of how you can set Streamfield up to do stuff that you just can't really do in the text area and WYSIWYG editor approach. And you can see it there on the right hand side with the uh, caption below it. Okay, so we're going to just go back and add a, bit more, add a bit more content now. Every time you open the Streamfield slider, you can see the options for what you can embed there, what you can add. In this particular case, there are 12 items, 12 types of block. Some of them, look, some of them are quite simple, like headings and paragraphs and so on, but some are more interesting, like uh, slideshows and the infographics, documents, bust-outs, pull quotes, and so on. And the options that appear in Streamfield are down to how you configure the Wagtail system. You can put all sorts of things in there. There could be interesting layout things like parallax slideshow features or complex tables or videos with transcripts or whatever you can imagine that you would want to use really. I'm going to try putting one of these bust outs in now and that's just a combination of an image and text but in a particular layout on this page to make it look a bit different. We want it to go full screen across the page. So I'm going to paste some text into there, preview it and you'll see immediately that much more striking visual element on the page. And just as you watch me finishing off uh, putting the content into the blog post, I just want to come back to the essence of this, which is that it gives editors the flexibility to combine different types of blocks as they want to, to make great, often magazine-like pages, which are, are really good for, tele for storytelling, whilst at the same time still allowing us to store the pure semantic content in the database uncluttered with any HTML markup or anything, so we can use that content again in apps or however else we might choose to repurpose that content.